but thank you very, very much for coming today. It's really great to have you all here for a really special afternoon. Um, the Make Art, Make Change project is, I think, a really ambitious and uh, a really important project. And so much of what we do is about the development of new forms of cultural expression and the development of projects which engage communities in the development, development of art. I think the arts are a great way to, to speak with community about issues of importance and for, for these artists in this community, drug and alcohol issues. True Story Cards is targeting young Aboriginal people who live across the state. Our young artists are from that target group, so we listen to what they told us. Their generation's most favourite media source are Facebook and YouTube. So that's why we've faced this campaign in Facebook and YouTube. And they are also really clear about one thing. This cannot be a no campaign. Basically, I'm saying if we say no, people will get this switch off. The concerns I have about uh, drugs and alcohol in my community is um, you know, just the fact that they don't have to go very far just to find drugs or you know, the local liquor store is not very far and nowadays you know, 15 year olds look 21 or whatever so you know, it's just very frightening to know that it's not very hard to get drugs or alcohol. So. so with the messages being on my footballs I had to find a way to put it in clear writing and you know, just make it really plain and simple for everyone for all ages and you know, I'll come up with a great slogan, um, stay clean, keep clean. It hits it on the head, like everyone gets it and it's very catchy, you know what I mean? It was about having healthy attitudes to alcohol and, and other drugs, so that if you were going to do those things, be informed about what you're doing, know what you're doing before you get into it. And to also be aware that there are other things in life as well that can get you excited and get you high, I suppose. I definitely think um, it's great to have you know, positive messages about drugs and alcohol, but there are other alternatives. Well, I was very impressed, um, not only with their works, but with their delivery, with their themes, and the way they used their life experience, they used some of their hardships, and they um, presented work that was pretty cool and funky, and everyone that looks at it can really get something out of it. Yeah, I just love to do art. <laughs> See if I get more inspiration. And I'm a visual artist, and I, I do paintings, like with acrylic paints, and um, I do dot paintings as well, so a lot of detail and time put into it. You never know who you're gonna lose or when you're gonna lose somebody while they're doing drugs or doing, like, on alcohol or doing all that bad stuff. So through the project, I have experienced it very deeply, but so I'll put a message in my painting about that. I think the fact that in my community where I work, a lot of artwork, you know, it draws in the community, we come and working together and because, um, you know, I'm all about community and this doing this year artwork, I can get it back into the community, you know, my, um, my message. We already had feedback straight away from the launch from someone who said those messages are great about being strong with your community, strong with culture and being strong in yourself. I think that was a very powerful message through a number of the clips that we saw. Already from what I understand there's like 300 likes or something on the web page and I think over such a short space of time that's a really good indicator of how youth can be engaged. Lord Peterson's is pretty strong and he's really got a very direct message so um, I favour that I suppose. That's why I hate domestic violence. It can't happen. I see my mama getting flogged. It was savage. Routine stuff, it was a habit. And Look, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed them all. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But, but I am taking the football back to the office. Oh, what did you think the football? Was? It was great. I'm sure. I'm, I'm looking forward to pumping it up and having it available at the office. You know? They really challenged themselves through this project. Um, and for me, I think that was the important thing, that they were pushing boundaries for themselves. And you saw young Michael got up, was pulled on stage to give a speech, and he did it! Like, back in December last year, I would never have imagined that he would have been able to do that. I've learned a lot of stuff, you know, like, public speaking for starters, I didn't... I was not comfortable with that when I first came in. But now I'm a little bit more comfortable with it, I'm like, more at it, I know. I've been speaking in front of heaps of crowds at school and all. So. so since starting this program, I guess, um, you know, b biggest highlights, I guess, is getting away from, um, you know, your average life and that where you live and, you know, just coming down this way or wherever we went, like Condoblin and, you know, just meeting new people, seeing what their lives are like and my personal skills too. Like, I 
when I first started, graphic designer wasn't my strongest point or anything like that. And now I've, you know, sort of went up a bit of a level and it's just good to know that you can still, you know, go just a little bit further. They've come so far together and they've formed a bond. So at the end of the day, they've not only created fantastic um, artwork, they've got a bond that's going to stick through life and they're going to know each other. The most rewarding thing has been being able to see how connected the artists are to their own work and the conviction they have for creating that work. And you can see that they really believe in what they've created. I think that is an amazing thing. It's a beautiful thing.